Hello, hello, this is Mikoi from Salon Maverick. I bet you've all been wondering throughout your language learning career how I can really stretch my English vocabulary. What can I do to, to know or to activate more words? Today I'm going to show you a really quick tip, a life hack, a language hack, if you will. Uh, how to do it and how to actually stretch your vocabulary this little, little bit. So uh, in this mini video, how to expand five words to 30 words. Hmm. How are we going to do it? Well, we will use the compound words. Compound words uh, are formed when two or more words are put together to form a new word with a new meaning. So here are a few examples of compound words. Superman, friend, mother, basketball, grasshopper, everything, and play ground. Very often you will be surprised that, that, that actually there are two words inside this one word that you know and then that, oh yeah i mean it will come as a surprise basketball okay yeah i mean there are two two words i mean basketball there are two components playground grandmother all these words are made up of two components so you you put them together or you just break up the word and you have two components that you can just switch around put them together and separate them and again put together and then you will have brand new words brand new meaning so it's it comes down to actually putting components together sticking two words together i'm going to show you a uh, five i'm going to show you five families of words and 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 I will display how it actually works. So we have the first family stick. So all these words, the core components is, is of course the word stick. And all these words actually come with this word stick. So uh, number one, lipstick. Two, hockey sticks. Three, chop sticks. Four, deer stick walking stick and a joy stick look all these words are made up of, of two components and all you have to do is just put two words together and very very often even if you don't know the, the the word that you're looking for you might be actually very lucky and very likely to have the target word spot on just fine so chopsticks, deer stick, walking stick. So you might know two words that actually make sense. If you put them together, bam, you have a new word, walking stick. It, it, it seems very obvious, but only when you actually see it and when you combine these two words and when you put them together. All right, family number two, board, skateboard keyboard, cutting board, chess board, switch board, dart board, the very same rule. Keyboard, well, you would be very surprised to, 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 to get to know, yeah, these are two, two different words. One thing here that is quite important to maybe highlight is that Sometimes these words are spelled or, or they come as, as one word, sometimes as two words, like switchboard or, or cutting board. Okay, cutting board, this is like it, it should go separately. But there are a lot of such words that very often you will see the same word spelled together as one word some, and sometimes as two, two different words. So don't worry, but don't worry about it. In here, it's all about 
you know, the, the rule, how, how to do it, because, you know, in pronunciation, in everyday language while speaking, this will still be, you know, this, the same word, keyboard, switchboard, no matter if you make a pause or not between, between the words, right? Case, pencil case, book case, suitcase, staircase, pillowcase, glasses case, basically a case, this is something that puts something else, I mean, contained together, uh, so a pencil case, so all the pencils that are somewhere, somewhere together, embraced by, by this case. And for example, a pillowcase, that's just a good, good example of what I said before. It could come as, as one word, pillowcase, as two different words, pillowcase. But again, don't worry about it. Uh, life, life belt. Some people call it also a life donut. Life guard, wild life, life boat, shelf life. And shelf life, it's actually the, the, the period of time in which or before your food goes off, expires. So let's say milk has got two, three weeks shelf life. So it means that you should consume it uh, before the expiry date. So the shelf life is two, three weeks, and then it goes off, it expires. So shelf life. The last one, life sentence. So when you commit a very serious crime, you are, you are sentenced to, to prison, to, to, to life in prison. So life sentence is the period of time in, in, in like you spent in prison without having any chance to be released. So it's life sentence. Five, maker. And look, a lot of professions here all you have to do is add this one short component, watch maker, film maker, shoe maker, auto maker, coffee maker, and dress maker. So a lot of professions, again, come as words with two, with two components. And a quick revision, uh, all right, so a few seconds for you each time come up yourselves with 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 the answer joy stick dress maker glasses case dart board life belt lip stick film maker pencil case cutting board here stick Life guard, watch maker, keyboard, pillow case, chop sticks, coffee maker, life boat, stair case, walking stick, chess board, book case, switch board, Auto maker, shelf life, hockey sticks, shoe maker, wildlife, suitcase. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. All right, enjoy the learning process. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for choosing Maverick. Bye bye.